Hey guys, uh, Dying PDCGO YouTuber channel here, and today we're going to be doing a 24-hour overnight challenge in Area 51. Make sure to leave a like on this video. If we can hit 15,100 likes on this video, I will do a giveaway of a PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I'm just joking around. I don't even know what that intro was, but what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're going to be looking at... At a Mewtwo Y Garbodor deck. Nothing too special, you know, it's a pretty simple, typical Mewtwo deck. But we're gonna be looking at it and we're gonna be trying it out. And kind of just showing you guys that, yeah, this is one of the best decks in the standard format. Mewtwo Y EX. It is arguably one of the best megas in the game. Okay, its attack, Psychic Infinity, is really, really good because for two energies, meaning you can use any energy you want, and it works with DCE, does 10 plus 3 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. That is insanely good. It is super easy to take one hit knockouts with Mewtwo, YEX, when you stack a bunch of energies on it, and it's just an insanely good attack. Now, there's a lot of different partners maybe you could run. Uh, you could run it with Dark types like Evoltal. You can run it with... Manaphy for the water, you can run it with Megirna for the metal, which wouldn't be too bad against the, the Mega Gardevoir matchups. That would actually be a pretty decent option. But we're going to be using it with Garbodor because it's the simple and the best way to run it. And Garbodor is just in, or it's a really good card. I mean, it's ability Garbotoxin. And this Pokemon has a tool on it. Each Pokemon in play, in each player's hand, any player's discard pile has no abilities. And this card is going to be good. Also, in standard, there's no way to get rid of tools efficiently without having to use, like, I don't know, the Mancino or Beedrill EX. There's no Starling Megaphone, no Tool Scrapper. Which really does make Garbodor a lot more deadlier. But it just makes it a lot more funner at the same time when you have the ability Garbotoxin. So Shutdown Ability is very good. And we don't really need to rely on abilities with this deck too much other than using Hoopa and Shaman, which will run one of, you know, Hoopa. Get to your Mewtwo's in play. Shaman, draw support, pretty simple. Now, we're going to be using this Mewtwo with Damage Change. We're actually going to be using Damage Change a little bit with this deck with Parallel City. With Parallel City, basically, or not with Parallel City. What the heck am I saying? I can't believe I just said that. Oh my god, I meant Shrine of Memories, guys. That was a huge mistake on my end. But I meant Shrine of Memories, not Parallel City. Just pretend I never said that. Shrine of Memories, each player of all Pokemon in play can use their attacks from their previous evolutions, meaning that Mewtwo Y, since technically it's an evolved Pokemon, can use, and I've got to text my phone, can use a, you know, Mewtwo's attack. So you can actually use damage change with your Mewtwo YEX, which can be very powerful, and that's kind of why we do have the two Shining Memories in here. And yeah, I guess we have the two Parallel Cities in there also. Those are all our Pokemon. Really nothing else you need to put in the deck Pokemon-wise. I don't know, maybe a Jirachi wouldn't be bad. I don't know any other good Psychic Attackers. So really, this is all you need is just your standard Mewtwo's, your Garbos, and whatnot. So we can get into the supporters and items now. We got an Escape Rope. One Escape Rope, again, this can act as Lysander. It's also a good way to switch out something and force your opponent to bring something they don't want up. Three Mega Turbos. It allows you to power up your Mewtwo a lot easier. Gets you more energies on it for Psychic Infinity. And again, it's just a really good card to have in these Mega Mewtwo decks. And just any Mega deck. A Super Rod. Uh, one Super Rod again. Yeah, just gets you back everything you need. You know what I mean? Get back your energies. Get back your Mewtwo's your Garbodors, and whatnot. For mail, for Trainer's Mail, basically, yeah, there's a lot of important items in this deck. Trainer's Mail is a really good card. It helps you, you know, helps with the speed, I guess, of your deck. Ultra Ball via Seeker, standard in any deck. Uh, you know, again, gets your supporters back. I went with Parallel City, you know, two Parallel Cities. Again, I talked about it, but, you know, it's a great card, you know. Either way can really help you. Having your opponent only have three bench Pokemon or make him do less damage sometimes can be very good. Shred Memories, again, obviously, it combos nicely with the Mewtwo's. That's why we got the two Shred Memories. One Lysander, Lysander, bring something up, boom, knock it out. Pretty simple. Three ends for Sycamore. It's the draw support that I decided to go with here. And we do play one Pokemon Ranger in case of like Regice, maybe even Giratina. Uh, if it does Chaos Wheel us, we have to, you know, get our DCE or like our Mewtwo Y Spirit Links on. So we're going to run the Pokemon Ranger in here since, you know, it'll help us deal with those matchups, especially against like Glaceon and Regice. It can really help us. Three Float Stones. Float Stone is great. You also having three is good to have it like sit on like a Hoopa. Not just having it on Garbodor, but also having it on your Hoopa EX. And Shaman can be very useful. So we are going to run it. Three float stones, three Mewtwo Y Spirit Links. Obviously, these are for your Mewtwo E Y E X's so that they can Mega Evolve without having to end your turn because that's bad. Four DCEs. DC works with the Mewtwo Y, so we got four of those and six basic psychic energies. Uh, lot, some lists I've seen go with seven. I have six in this list. This is 
list I made, I, I think six is a decent amount. I don't think you need seven psychic energies. I don't really know the big importance of having that many energies. But uh, yeah, this is the Mewtwo Y Garbodor deck that I have made here for the standard format. Anyways, let's hop into a couple games with the deck and see you in action on PG Joe. I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. We're hopping in to some games with our Mewtwo deck. We're going to fly into it, and we are going to win some games, hopefully. And we'll see how this goes. And yeah, I don't know if I need to do too many games. Again, this is one of those decks that like everyone plays, but it looks like we're playing against a Dark Ride Giratina deck, which I'm actually fine with. You know what? That's actually not a bad matchup because this deck definitely, you know, that's one of the top decks. This deck, you know, kind of, we'll see if it goes well. You know what I mean? Um, he doesn't play Garbodor though, because I didn't see any Psychic types. So he doesn't play Hoopa either, which is kind of interesting. So I don't really know what to expect here, to be honest with you. I don't know what kind of version of the deck is. Um, our hand isn't very good, though. I don't want to lose a Spirit Link, a Garbodor, a Psychic Energy, and a... Wow. Hopefully, we, like, get end. I can't remember if I'm going first or not. Um, maybe this isn't a Dark Eye Giratina deck. Who knows? It probably is, though. And it's not. And my hand is junk right now. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted just to pass... To attach and pass... Nah, actually, no, I can use that for Mega Turbo. I'm tempted, honestly, I'm going to take my time here. Maybe I can bait my opponent into ending me, because I'm not really into discarding this hand right now. So, I think, um, I think I'm just going to pass the turn for now. Next turn, what I'll do, I'll evolve into Garbodor, and if we have to, we're going to have to play the Sycamore. We do have Super Rod in the deck, but I'm really not a fan of losing two of my Mewtwo's. That's never really fun, so we're going to have to try and avoid that at all costs. So we see Parallel City. I think that's, yeah, only three bench Pokemon. Not a big deal. So we just see the Oblivion Wing for 30. Okay, so now it's time for this top deck to be good. Nope. Okay, well, we'll get rid of the Parallel City. I got to do it, man. I got I got a Sycamore. This hand is so... Oh, that, that hurts, but maybe we can get Super Rod and whatnot. Um, nope, of course not. Um, I can't even play that Shaman down, because I if I have to, I, I put a tool on. But I think we'll just put the tool on, and I think I'll pass. Oh, this is bad. We're Also, we're losing a Mewtwo Y Spirit Link again. Jeez, this game is not liking me today. Uh, luckily, my opponent seems to be dead drawing, so I mean, that's a good thing. He's going to take a few hits to take out this Garbodor. Um, so I'm feeling safe. And there we go. We finally get a Mewtwo. Jeez Louise. We can put him down. We can play a Psychic Energy on. We can retreat into the Mewtwo. And I guess just go with the Professor Sycamore. I don't think I'm going to need the, any of these cards anymore. Um, okay. We get another Ultra Ball. I'm going to hold off on playing that. In before my Mewtwo Y's are prized. Which, honestly, I mean, my opponent has a really low HP Pokemon down. So, if my Mewtwo Y is prized, it wouldn't be too hard to knock him out, I guess. So, it's not really a big deal. Uh, I'm probably going to play the Parallel City if I can. I can't remember if you're allowed to play your Stadium cards. If you've already played one down. Um, but we'll see. Okay, I can. I'm going to Parallel City this dude. Just so he has three bench Pokemon. It's going to help me a little bit, you know. Uh, so let's Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Shrine Memories and Sycamore. I mean, I'm probably just going to do a Sycamore. Please do not be prized. Yes, okay, good. We still have a Mewtwo in the deck. All is good. All is well. We also have a Mega Turbo, so that's good. So we might be able to knock him out. I, ooh, we're losing a lot of our VS Seekers, though. Um, so that's not a good thing, but it is what it is. Uh, what other supporters could I play? Yeah, just a Sycamore, then. Okay, well. Rip VS Seeker. But it's time for you to go. Can we get an energy? We do get a super rod, though. We get another Trubbish. I'm going to play him down and put a float stone on him. Just in case. Uh, and I guess we'll just play super rod here. Get back two Mewtwo's and a Garboder. And yeah, seems good. We got our Mewtwo's back. And sadly, uh, we can't really do much else with his hand. So I guess we'll just Psychic Infinity hit him. I don't want to play too many Pokemon on my bench. Uh, but it does knock him out. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, I don't want to play too many Pokemon on my bench. Because Zoar can hit me for a lot of damage, and I don't want to walk into that. So, for now, I'm just going to keep my bench very scarce. But, yeah, it looks like it looks like we're just free to just roll him over with Psychic Infinity. 
Uh, that didn't even knock him out. Wow, I'm an idiot. But I don't want to play the end because he hasn't been drawing anything. He's literally just been attacking and passing or just straight up passing. So, yeah, I don't really feel safe in ending him. Um, oh, he's going to moon. Oh, that's annoying. He's actually going to confuse me. That sucks. Uh, so there's a second Garbodor. I guess we'll get rid of Hoopa and an Ultra Ball. We could have got rid of the end, I guess. I don't know. We'll grab a second Mewtwo. Um, see, we are confused, though. That's kind of annoying. Uh, did, did I use my escape rope pick? I don't think I have. Nah, I think I still have an escape rope in the deck. Let's play Trainer's Mail, see what we can get out of this. Speak of the devil, there it is. Sadly, though... See, if I play this, he could he'll just confuse me again. It's like, really no point. No, but he concedes the game. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, I was in a weird spot there. Because if I did the escape rope, he still would have been able to confuse me. What was this deck, man? I'm, conf um, I'm confused. He had Zork, Giratina, Giratina EX. He had two of them in the deck. Looks like he plays Noivern Break, too. Interesting. Huh. Okay, but Wally, too. Interesting. This Okay, this was a pretty interesting deck. Um... Don't know how to feel about it, but it seemed like an interesting idea, you know. Uh, Neuvern Break certainly isn't the worst break Pokemon we've ever had compared to stuff like Luxray Break. So, I mean, that was a cool idea. I mean, maybe the deck needed some Darkrai, though, because, again, he's playing Dragon Energy, so why not run Darkrai? So, but that was a cool idea, though. But sadly, he couldn't pull it off because we just steamrolled him with our Mewtwo, even though we had a bit of a rough start. We were still able to win. All right, we'll see what we are up against now. Uh, Missing Gone. Okay, that's actually a funny name. He flipped the no around. Okay, that's kind of funny. Um, he's playing Volcanion, though, which isn't very funny, because that deck is a little annoying to play against. But, you know what? We're still going to win, so it's all good. So, flip the coin. Can we win it? Yes. Okay, phew. So, hopefully we can get, like, a turn to Garbo going and see what happens. Okay. So, our hand... Ugh. I hate these Shaman starts, but... It's honestly better than starting with, like, Hoopa or even Trubbish because we need Trubbish. So I'm actually fine, I guess, but it is what it is. So, yeah, it's definitely a Volcanian deck, which, you know what? I, I still think that's a fair matchup. Once we get two Garbos in play, I think we can win the game fairly easily. We'll see if he plays Salamence, though. Uh, my opponent says Heartbroken. Now, I'm probably just going to do an end, so I'm going to draw these extra cards just so we have something to Ultra Ball. My opponent says a Heart... I guess he found a card. I'm going to say Smiley Face. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Let's draw two extra cards. Hopefully, we can get something good. Okay. Um, This is good. We will get rid of Lysander. We'll get rid of the Sycamore, I guess. And, okay, where's my boy Hoopa? Please do not be prized. Thank you. All right. We'll grab Hoopa. And I guess... Okay, I, I need bench space for Trubbish. So, I'm going to grab two Mewtwo's, and I'm going to grab a Shaman. Yeah, okay, we'll grab the Mewtwo's and the Shaman, and I'm going to end up discarding the Shaman with the Ultra Ball, so that we can grab a Trubbish. Because I want I need to get a Trubbish out this turn, so that I can get a uh, Trubbish out next turn. So, let's, we'll just get rid of the end, we can always be a Seeker for it back, anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, we'll get rid of the Shaman and the end, we'll grab ourselves a Trubbish, we can put the DCE on the Mewtwo. Our hand is looking good. I think we're our hand's really good. Uh, actually, you know what? We can play Sycamore. I just realized. Um, so let's play the Floatstone. Oh, almost misclicked there. Let's put the Floatstone on. VS Seeker. We can straight up play the Sycamore, and maybe we can get another Trubbish down. That would be pretty cool if that could happen. Okay, looks like we can. But honestly, I don't want to use that just yet because my hand ain't good because I have no um. I got no, what's gonna call it? No supporters, so I think I'll just pass. I need to hold on that Ultra Ball for like a Mewtwo Y because we can attack him next turn. Hopefully, we can get Garbodor out um, really fast. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna hold off on playing the Parallel City because I want him to have like no bench space. I don't know if he plays any counter stadiums like Scorched Earth or something, but he does. There you go. Um, so maybe he'll end us. You know what? If, this, if, he, if he ends us, this will be great. So hopefully we get hit with an N. Uh, nope, just a Lysander on our Trubbish. Oh god, that's what I was scared of. But he actually just concedes the game, okay. 
Did he not have any way to attack? That was weird. Um, I think it's just a pretty standard Volcanian list. He had Flareon and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty standard. I don't know why he didn't... I don't know what the point of that was. Um, okay. I mean, he could have knocked out Trubbish if he had another Volcanian and, like, more energy, but... Hey, I'm not gonna complain. A free win for me is a free win. I'm probably gonna get that chest, by the way, so we'll definitely be opening up that chest, hopefully by the end of the video, if I can actually get it off the ladder. So, playing against more Volcanian. How fun. <sighs> Why is everyone playing Volcanian all of a sudden? Like, this game is making me want to play, like, a water deck all, like, right now. Kind of annoying, because I'm not really liking Volcanian, and I, you know, don't want to always play against Volcanian, but everyone is playing Volcanian. Everyone and their mother seems to be playing that game, the deck right now. So let's hopefully win the coin flip. Oh, come on, Totodile. Why you gotta let us down like that? Why you gotta let us down? You see, we're playing against a deck that I don't want to play against, and you, you gotta let us down like that. I mean, it's not a bad matchup by any means, but it's just I don't want to play against this Volcanian deck every single day. Uh, our hand's fine, though. We get the Mewtwo start, I guess, which isn't bad. Um, we're still gonna get hit heavy, though, with Steam. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see what we can do. We can still make some stuff happen with this hand, so it's something into the world. Maybe my opponent will end me too. I don't know. We'll see. But it is against Volcanian, which isn't fun. And he does start with a baby Volcanian, unfortunately. Hoping he would get, like, a batter start so we could set up more, but whatever. He probably plays Starmie in his deck. He doesn't play any Shamans, which is interesting. So that is a good thing, I guess. Um, we just see the Fire Energy going on. What else is my opponent going to do? We see a dive. Pardon me. Oh, my God. We see a dive. I almost burped there. I gotta be careful not to burp on video. You know, I just ate breakfast before I recorded this, so that's kind of why. But uh, he does die both for Volcanian. <sighs> Volcanian, man. Why is everyone running this deck all of a sudden? I think I've played against this deck the most since I came back to this game after my laptop ended up breaking. And it's not fun. I'm gonna have to play, like, more water decks now. Like, please, please stop the Volcanian. Um, Alright, we'll put that on. We'll drop a Hoopa down. We'll play the Hoopa. We'll get two Mewtwo's and a Shaman, I think. Yeah. Maybe I could have gotten the two Shamans just in case. Um, but I think I'll be fine just to grab two Mewtwo's and a Shaman. We'll play the Floatstone on the Hoopa. We'll play two Mewtwo's down. We will play Setup. Hopefully the Setup treats us nicely and gives us two what we need. Okay, we get an end. Perfect. Well, actually, you know... I mean, next turn, we're going to play a Mewtwo down, and then we're going to attack him and probably knock him out, so. Do I even want, yeah, I'm going to hold off on doing that. Next turn, we'll end him. I know I need to get the Garbodor into play, but, I mean, at the same time, I think I'll be fine with the Mewtwo. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. He only has one Volcanian in play. He's only doing 50 damage if he does do Steam Up, so things are looking good. Plus, you know, all he did was drop a Volcanian down with the Die Ball, so I don't even know if his hand is... Not that good. It might it might be a bad hand. I mean, he didn't do much else with the hand this turn, so who knows. And before, he, like, does a bunch of stuff. But if he only hits me for 50, I'm going to be in a very good spot. And I don't even know if I want to end him because it looks like he might be just dead drawing with a bad hand. Oh, he, he might have a handful of useless stuff. Um, No, just a Lysander on Shaman. I don't know why he would bring that up. I would honestly would just brought up Mewtwo because that's more a treat cost. Um, but, hey, I'm not gonna complain. So, yeah, I think he's dead drawing, so I'm probably not gonna play that in now. So, that's good. Um, ooh, we could Sky Return him and then bring up the Hoopa. Should I do that? Should I, should I play Sky Return, hit him for 30, and then just bring up Hoopa, or should I retreat and start attacking with Mewtwo now? Uh, you know what, let's just, yeah, I'm just gonna attack him with the Shaman. He might have Via Seeker in his hand too, but it's fine. We'll 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 do the Sky Return, I guess. You know, saves us our Shaman from being knocked out. Also, you know, maybe we can do Sky Return next turn, or set up next turn. Plus, you know, it saves my bench space. I do need bench space for at least two Garbodors, because one way this deck can get around Garbodor is they power up a Volcanian EX, they Lysander up a Garbodor, and then they knock it out with Steema or whatever Volcanic Heat. So I do want to get two Garbodors in play. So getting Shaman off the field, I think, is fine enough. I don't know. And he is dead drawing, too, so there's really no need to play the end. And, oh, there's a Lysander. So he finally realizes that the Lysander play may have been the best play, but, um, hey, I don't, I don't know. Certainly not doing that end. 
Mewtwo, I don't need you. I'm just gonna attach, and I might as well just shatter shot him. I mean, he's doing 20, I'm doing 30. I mean, next turn, might as well just use this Mewtwo. I mean, we have the Mewtwo on the bench, but at the same time, who cares? I might just attach the DC to this guy, and then just retreat into this guy. And then, it, and before he plays, like, a third Lysander, I will laugh, but if not, you know, I'm just gonna attach to Mewtwo, retreat him into the Mewtwo YEX, and go from there. We'll see if that even works out. So, yeah, he's dead drawing, which is perfect. Um, I'm getting a bit of a slow start myself, but hey, it's fine. He'll be able to hit me for 50, and that's, I guess, fine by me, but it's looking fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the DC. Yeah, I think I'll just play it. Oh, you got... I, I, I called it. I said in before a third Lysander, and what does this man do? He plays a third Lysander. Oh, my God. Right, I'm attacking. I'm knocking him out with Mewtwo. Why? There's, like, no other way. He is going to be able to power Volcanion soon, but that's, that's the only way. This dude is insane, and ooh, look at that. We get a Parallel City. I'm... Should I make him do less damage? I guess. Actually, eh, his bench space... Eh, I don't... Which one should I do? I need the bench space for... Yeah, I need the bench space for Garbodor, so I'm gonna make him have less bench space. I'm gonna have to retreat. If he plays another VS Seeker, I'm going to be very annoyed, but whatever. Let's just Psychic Infinity knock out this little Volcanian and take a prize. I mean, we have an end sitting in our hand, ready to be played any time, but my opponent is dead drawing, so there's really no point playing it. The worst case scenario is if he plays Enhanced Hammer and a Lysander. We'd have no way to attack, and we'd have no way to much else. He plays another Volcanion down, but again, dead drawing. We'll see if he even has an energy to attack. If not, then I'll be good to attack him. We see a Remoraid, so he does play Octillery. So, you know, if I ever draw a Lysander, I need to knock out that Remoraid, because Octillery may be one of the best ways he can draw cards. So, yeah. But you know what? Those are two bench Pokemon. He only has room for one more Volcanian EX. So, that's a good thing. But we need to find a Trubbish. We're, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even mind playing Sycamore right now. But we are not drawing into it. So, technically, we're kind of Dendrine too, in a way. Because we can't really play that end because it'll help him. But at the same time, you know, we're not really drawing any supporter that'll help us too. So, yeah. Not really the best positions for both of us. Uh, we do see an energy retrieval. He is going to be able to do... No, he only has one energy in there. Okay, never mind. He can do 130 to me, but... He can't really... The only way he could do another attack is if he played a Pokemon Ranger. We'll see if he can do that. He's got one card in his hand. If that's an Octillery, I'm going to cry. If that's a Via Seeker... Oh! You... This kid is a joke, dude. This kid is a joke. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm definitely going to end him. I'm ending him. He's going to get two cards, but I'm still going to end him to four. I know it gives him more, but I can't have that. I cannot have that. He knocked me out. Kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie, because that was a very back and forth game. But now we can finally set up. We need to dig for Garbodor. Speak of the devil. So let's just end him. Let's just do it. You know what? I know it gives him more cards, but it's better than nothing. So I don't even care. Okay. Plus, you know, he still can't attack with Volcanion, so it's fine. So, I'm gonna get rid of Shiner Memories and the Psychic Energy. Maybe we can get Mega Turbo. So, we'll grab ourselves a Trubbish. We'll play the Shaman down. Also, we might be able to knock out this Volcanion. That's the plan. So, let's play Setup. I don't like having Shaman on the bench, but whatever. Alright, we need to find something. There's a Mewtwo Spirit Link. Okay, can we get, like, a Mega Turbo off of this Trainer's Mail? A. So we can knock out this Volcanion. So we'll play the Mega Turbo onto the Mewtwo. And we can Psychic Infinity, destroy this Volcanion, knock it out, and boom. We can take two prizes. We can probably get a Garbodor in play next turn if all goes well. There's another Mewtwo, sweet, we can get another one in play. And I think at this point my opponent's probably like, oh bully. And if we can get Garbodor into play next turn, I'm going to be in an even better spot. So, things are looking up. He's already played two VS Seekers for his two Lysanders. Now, I know I gave him more cards with that end, but I feel safe about that, because those two prizes could have been anything. You know what I mean? Plus, you know, I kind of needed to go off on my opponent here and take a knockout, so I think that end would have been the best play possible. So, you know what? Suck it. So, my opponent plays an Ultra Ball. He's going to be able to get the Octillery in play, but you know what? I'm going to be able to have a more explosive turn. He gets rid of a Remoraid and another Volcanion. 
He's not going to be able to knock out my Mewtwo anytime soon. Which is good. We can get another Mewtwo in play. He grabs the Artillery. Now, hmm. Yeah, I need to find Lysander. I want to knock out those Volcanoes on the bench. If possible. Pardon me. But maybe even. Maybe even the Artillery. Because the Artillery could pose as a threat too. So let's see. Uh, we will see an Abyssal Hand. As long as he doesn't knock out my poor little Trubbish, I'm fine. Uh, but no, he plays a Skyfield. Kind of annoying. That kind of gives him more cards to draw and more Volcanians to play. But hey, whatever. Hmm. This is a kind of a weird spot. Not gonna lie. Hopefully we don't lose. You know, if I lose, I'll be sad. I don't think I will. You never know. Worst case scenario, if he takes a prize this turn, then I'm gonna be in some trouble. But if he doesn't take a prize, I should be okay. And as long as we can get Garbodor to play, I'm going to be fine too, so I'll be happy. Probably just going to play a DCE on this Mewtwo, Mega Evolve, play Garbodor down, play an N. I don't want to end myself to three, uh, um, but better than nothing. But no, he actually ends me. I hope we can get a Sycamore off of this N to three. Please. I don't know. Did he even do Abyssal Hand? Okay, yeah, he did. Okay, nice. We do get a Sycamore. Perfect. That's all I wanted was a Sycamore and not an N, so we're good. He still hasn't played any Volcanians down, which is fine. So there's a Flareon EX, not really a big deal. Uh, yeah, no Volcanians. As long as he's doing, like, 20 damage, I'm fine. Uh, we still have a Parallel and a Shrine left. Yeah, okay, good. Or, wait, I... Th yeah, we still have a Parallel and a Shrine left, okay. We can still play the Parallel City down, as long as it's not prized. We still have a Shrine Memories to get rid of the Skyfield. Skyfield could be a problem, but yeah, just a Power Read for 20. Nice, nice, nice. He has to put an Energy on Artillery. And we get a Shaman top deck. You know what? I'm I'm going to play setup. I'm hoping we get a Floatstone and a Garbodor. Or just a tool. I wouldn't even mind playing a Spirit Link on at this point. Super Rod. Uh, okay, not what I wanted, but whatever. Do I even need to play Mewtwo at this point? I don't think I do. I don't want to play him down quite yet. Let's do Sycamore. Come on. Okay, good. We can get the Garbodor into play. So let's do this. We'll play this. We'll get rid of Light. We'll get rid of Sycamore and VS Seeker uh, in before end, but whatever. So we'll do this. I want to hold on to Escape Rope just in case. So let's do this. Shut up that poor Octillery. And we can Psychic Infinity for a knockout on this Volcanion. We can take a prize. And hopefully it's something good. A Shine of Memories, we can get rid of his Skyfield now, sweet. But, yeah, he concedes the game, realizing, oh boy, there's nothing he can do. I don't even know how long I've been recording for, but honestly, guys, I think I'm just going to end off the video here. Uh, you know, I showed up the game pretty well. Mewtwo just wrecked my opponent. Plus, you saw how powerful Garbodor is, especially against these Volcanians. But actually, no, we get these chests, I forgot. We'll open up these chests, too. Maybe we'll get something good out of these chests. Four uncommon chests. I don't mind if I do. I do not mind if I do. Let's open up some... Uncommon chests, and maybe we can pull an EX Pokemon. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's go. Okay, I I really wish I really hope and for, I I don't even know what I'm fucking saying anymore. <laughs> I really I I miss that's what I'm trying to say. I miss when like the option to like go th like have this view on your packs was like on that side. Kind of annoying, but whatever. We get a Raichu with Thunderclap, not really anything too special. I don't know, maybe you can make a Thunderclap Raichu wide lens deck with Captivating Pokepuff, but I don't know. Let's open up another one. Meloetta, not really a good card. Uh, let's open up another chest. PDCGO chest opening video, very exciting to watch, I know. <sighs> kidding. In before he roasts people who make chest videos, but anyway, I'm just kidding. 10 more coins, and we get a rare. Can we end this video off with an EX? We get an Avalug. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, how many Avalogs do I have? Avalog wouldn't be a bad deck to try out. It's like a fun little rogue deck. I don't think I... Yeah, I only have one. I didn't... Uh, During the Steam Siege era is kind of when my old PC broke and I couldn't play at that time. So that's kind of why I don't really have any Steam Siege cards, but hey, who cares? Let's see what is in the shop. I know... Okay, I know there's these decks. I'm going to look at these decks really quickly. Let's see. We got this theme deck right here. I think this is... I saw Yellow Swallow do a video on this guy. Pam... Pam... Pamazian. God, I can't say these stupid Sun and Moon names. This is a pretty cool deck idea. I saw Yellow Swallow make a video on it, so... I might actually try and get those myself. 
Um, I might buy this theme deck. I think that might be the best one. We got this theme deck right here. Forest Shadow. Uh, I mean, that Kangaskhan is actually kind of good. I can see that Kangaskhan seeing some play in, like, some... I don't think it'll be a deck by itself, but it's kind of good. So, yeah, we got this theme deck. Shenotic is pretty good. I like Shenotic or Shenotic. I don't know. I haven't played Sun and Moon. I don't own a 3DS, guys. Big surprise, I know. Uh, um, but... Let's look at this theme deck. Uh, Herdier is a really good card. That could be a great card. Uh, and like a I could see Herdier Houndoom with, like, hammers. Uh, Golduck, I've heard, is pretty good, too. I'm, I'm going to do a Sun and Moon set review soon. Uh, this Togamere, I don't think it's a great card, but I definitely think it has some fun potential with Magnusum. So, yeah, this looks like we got that. Uh, they didn't have anything new. They have these cool sleeves. I need to save up for those. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PTCGO content. If you did, hit the like button. Don't know why I'm talking like a robot, but thank you guys for subscribing. Help me on the road to 2,000 subs, and I'll see you guys on another PTCGO video.